like chocolate and stuff. Was, you guys and because and it's yeah, a pencil sharpener. Yeah, and you walk with pencil sometimes. It's like like a walk. Hey mom, did you see me just doing it? It looked like this twisted all around. Oh, I didn't around see it. you. And I had no clue what I was doing. Louis, come back. Cause Louis held my hand and then it then because I had my this foot, but not this foot, and then it just started twisting around. And I'm like, stop, 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 and it wouldn't stop. So then I just jumped off. You guys' brains also never like allow you big nick energy to just function. I can't have one without the next, without this one, without this one, without this one. So I was like, let me, uh, I'm editing Nala's video, right? Well, I don't edit it. She edits it. And then I go in for the final like little clean cuts because she's not quite there with like that you know she she slices off the back of a word or she starts in the middle of another one and it's a real amateur move <laughs> so i go in for that like the little cleanups and every now and again i'll throw a couple of edits on there because i know it's gonna make her laugh so i put a couple on there but uh i'm gonna have her finish it but her computer died was well, my old computer the computer died, right? Because it dies in 2.5 seconds, I gotta buy a new battery for it. So I'm like, let me plug that in. When I plug that in, I'm like, okay, I really wanna take a shower. Let me go upstairs and take a shower. I said, well, if I go upstairs to take a shower, I should probably do my laundry. If I'm gonna go upstairs and do my laundry after I take a shower, then I should probably take the vlog camera. If I'm gonna take the vlog camera and I'm really gonna be up there doing my laundry, then I should probably take my coffee because I really want some coffee. Well, if I'm gonna make some coffee, then I might as well do the dishes because I'm gonna have to go and clean up the coffee stuff. Well, if I'm gonna do the dishes, I might as well get dinner started because if I'm gonna be doing the dishes, then I should just put the chicken in the crock pot. And if I put the chicken in the crock pot and I already got dinner started and I done cleaned the dishes up and now I got my coffee, well, at this point now my vlog camera is dying. So, well, maybe I should just go get a battery for my vlog camera. Well, while I'm over there, I should probably repack the camera to go back. I'm actually returning this one and I'm getting another one, but the other one's not in stock yet. So I'm hanging on to you a little bit, but some of you can go back because I don't need all the extra batteries, yada, yada, yada. Well, if I go do that, then I might as well hop on Amazon actually, check if the other camera's in stock. I don't buy it from Amazon, but then I can buy a battery for her MacBook that needs a new battery. But anyway, I do manage to get a lot of things done in my day. Oh God, the battery's gonna die. <laughs> But it's a wonder how, it's a wonder. I think a lot of this is from always wanting to be as efficient as humanly possible. Like I always wanna be efficient. I'm not gonna walk all the way over to the bathroom area without taking the thing that's gotta go to the garage. And I'm not gonna walk the thing to the garage without taking the thing that's gotta go to the car. And I'm not gonna go do that without grabbing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why it's always about efficiency with me. And it's like, it's okay to just take time to do stuff, but no, it's not. <laughs> that being said, I finished my puzzle. So I guess I did take time to do something. And now what? What do I do with it? It just, it's just part of the table now? Can you really just lift them up? Is that a real thing? <gasps> you kind of can. Interesting. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love her. I love you guys more though, my little stinky babies. Oh, I want stinky baby number one. Oh, you're a little stinky baby. You're a little stinky mama. And you're a little stinky papa. Coco's like, girl, if you don't give me some loving, she's biting me. Coco only play bites. She only bites because she wants the love and she really is enjoying whatever you're doing. Crash will bite you for real. <laughs> he said, look at this face. Does it look like I play? No, giving scar. Relax, relax, buddy. Do, you, do what you gotta do and you know it. Baby, how's that song go? I'm back here. Or I'm back, yeah. I was gone for a minute or something. That song's not even worth re-listening to right now. Okay, you see this? I loved it. Oh, I loved it. I loved it something ferocious. I did. You hear that past tense though, right? Oh yeah, click onto there, girly. Yeah, girly. Nah, man, this thing sucks. It broke. And then I was like, maybe it's just the little cube. So I changed that. No, it was this. It was you. Um, and then it like worked and then it didn't, then it worked and then it didn't. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna be at a festival all day today and I have to film stuff on my phone. Oh, okay, I think I won't charge your phone then today. <laughs> okay, you little. Anyway, don't 
don't buy that. It's by Heyday. If you guys have a suggestion for, you know, one that's kind of cute like that. I liked it because it kind of just blended in with, with everything. It was just like white and then had that like little, you know, metallic-y color to it. You let me know, okay? Because the one by Heyday at Target, she's not for me, babe. She's not for me. But I've almost repurchased it multiple times at this point. We are doing laundry, okay? We're dressed. You want to see my OOTD? Nala's best friend's mom said she'll pick up my kids today because all of our kids are doing the, what's it called? Uh, the team of kids that get together because they like, knowledge is power. What is that called? Scholastic something club. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, all of our kids are in it together. So that means I don't have to leave the house, which means I'm just going to wear sweats all day today. And I love that. Um, but this is the new hoodie I got yesterday. Be still and no. Be still and no. We are doing our laundry. We are going to be laundering and we have our mug set to hot. Cause I did take a shower and do everything and I bet you it was still hot. Hotter than when I put it in there. But we have a ton of laundry to do and uh, that's great. I love it. I love when all my clothes are clean. And I just wanna say, if any of y'all happen to see the other one, um, let me know. Cause, cause I'm pretty sad about it. It's missing. I bought a skirt. Did I buy this skirt? Yes, I did. I bought this skirt and I love it. Um, and then I realized I had bought the same one for Nala and it's just, uh, hers is under the Christmas tree. It fits so well. Cider skirts fit so well. And now that she's in women's sizes, we do tend to have some overlap in the, um, just the skirts really. Cause I like a good skirt when I go out, skirt or trousers. I'm like one or the other, but the skirt makes me feel a little more girly and I like that. I love it even, I love it. Oh no, if you see this one, let me know. Dang it. Oh, y'all might just have to link up. I don't know what's going on there. The ugly ones I got, the cute ones, poof. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do our laundry. Oh, a little update on my hatch thing. Um, I don't totally get it yet. Like I get it, I haven't done the nighttime routine. I've done the morning thing though. So it starts to like light up and like almost, it, it gets bright. This upper part gets bright. And it's like a sunrise kind of thing. And then you can make the clock go away, but I kind of like having it there. At night it gets dim. And then this is like your snooze button. And it just plays like this song in the morning. I've yet to use it without my actual alarm clock because I don't fully trust that it's going to wake me up. Although there's a lot of activity. Like Lewis is waking up. The kids are waking up. Is that a white hair? Yes, it is. Let's cover you up. Um, so, yeah, I haven't fully... I'm gonna try it over the break. When there's like very little on the line, I'm gonna try that as an alarm clock. <gasps> oh no, you're in the candle. There's a reason I never do my makeup after 10, and this is it. I was like, let me move this one box, and then I went through that whole process of, but if this, then that, and if that, then this, and if this, then that, and anyway, I actually organized quite a bit just now, so that was actually very productive. Um, I have too many shoes down here. I don't like that. But another part of me is like, mm, this is where you put your shoes on. So should I just maybe get one of those little skinny like Ikea shoe things? And maybe I can like stick it under this thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? The little ones that, they're only like that wide. But they're like higher up and you can fit like, I think like eight pairs of shoes in there. But here's me, I got to thinking. You know how I bought this yesterday? I told you guys I'm gonna give it to my, my booski. Well, remember how philosophy had sent me that gift and it had that lotion that I have on right now and it had the perfume that I won't shut up about. They also sent me these three gifts, which I think I'd shown you guys. And of course I didn't open them. They said, hey, gift these to someone else in your life. And I was like, for sure. What a cute thing to do. Sure, I have no idea what's in here. They didn't tell you what was in it. But then I got to thinking and then I got to looking and what are the chances I purchased what's in here already and I just repurchased it myself what are the chances I was just gonna give this to one of my um sister-in-laws so I'm still gonna do that like I don't think I'm gonna like go take this back yeah I, I think that might have happened and I don't know what's in these ones so I kind of want to know because this one's so heavy I think this one might be bubble bath and I have one sister-in-law who really likes taking baths and then I have like my mom who doesn't take baths and like that'd be dumb to give it to my mom you know what I mean instead of like my sister-in-law but I also like don't want to I don't want to open it 
I'm gonna give this one to her and hope for the best. I don't know what's in any of these. It's like I'm a dad on Christmas. I don't know what got wrapped. <sighs> I assume that's what dads are like, I don't know. Um, okay, I am going to do some wrapping though. I'm gonna do some filming as well. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot I got that. But I'm gonna take out the stuff that is for Nala so that when she gets home, she can just wrap uh, her brother's gifts and she can wrap her cousin's gifts. And then these are for me. I showed you guys my, my favorite eyeshadow palette yesterday. So, same thing. This is a new one. But um, this one is broken. And then, it's just, it still works. Don't get me wrong, okay? In fact, I might just keep this one on the back burner for when this one really, really runs out of juice. I might just store that one for now. Because it's just, it's just, it's just my favorite. It's getting out of hand again over here, and I need to, like, get it. In, in hand. It's, if it's out of hand, I need to get it in hand right now. I just started listening to You Again by Kate Beck something. Kate Beck, Beck and Kate, Kate Beck and, not Beck and Tail. Some lady named Kate. I just started listening to that. So I don't know what I thought it was gonna be because I really didn't know anything about it. So going into it, I really had no preconceived notions. And now I'm, I'm like, I'm into it, kind of. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. They were talking about vib vibrators and, uh, I don't even know what else, within a couple of pages, so. Right now it's kind of giving me, they're not like friends to lovers, but like right now it's kind of giving me a similar vibe as that one Emily Henry book that everybody loves, People We Meet on Vacation, where it's kind of like taking us through time and they have like, you know, good banter and that kind of stuff. So we'll see where this one goes. Oh, this is at Milani Supercharge, remember? I bought this yesterday. And let's just try it out. Brightening under eye tint. I think I'm gonna film today, but it can be casual, so part of me just wants to film without, well, that was way too much. Part of me just wants to film without, you know, doing like a full face and everything. Like, I don't need all that, but that was way too much, you guys. <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? We have overdone what we have done. Whatever we've done, we've overdone it. Well, that was just, whoopsie, whoopsie poopsie. Okay, let's try to blend that out a little bit. I don't, I don't know that it's even really coming across. There you go, now you can see it. Yeah, I do need a film today, um, but it's gonna be like a reel, but it's a, it's relatively casual. It is for a brand, but at the same time, it's like just a lifestyle kind of reel. So a lot of times I don't wanna wear makeup. You know, I have like the false lashes on right now. The false gara, I put them on yesterday. They're still going strong. I mean, I reapplied them yesterday, so they're like, they're doing okay. That's not bad. I think I'm gonna keep this upstairs in my bathroom. Just so in the morning I can have, you know, a little something. Maybe I should put a brush up there too then. Oh, I wanna put my little HP nails on. I wanna put them on, they're cute. I'm gonna reapply these though, again. I lost two uh, last night. I like hit something and my nail popped off, which is fine. It's not a big deal for me to reapply a nail. As long as I can find it. RIP that one and lost in the ribeyes. Yeah, okay, cool beans, look at us. Continuing with life here. Okay, still here. I was going through some of the makeup that I had over here that I was gonna ooh, that I was gonna put away, um, and I realized that Nude Stick sent me this really recently, like this week I think, and it's a dewy barrier hydrating stick. And I thought it was really interesting because I've never seen anything like this. So it's a it's one of their sticks. I really like Nude Sticks, um, and they sent this, which I guess is this a water bottle? Yes. Are you supposed to like infuse the bottle? But this is what it is. It's called the jet lag stick and it's supposed to refresh, rehydrate, and renew for tired, dull, dehydrated looking skin, right? So if you want tired, dull, dehydrating, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but they have a photo of a girl and they have her before and after and you see like before she looked for sure a little bit more tired, I guess. But then now she's all dewy and glowy and just wow, wow, what a time, what a time. And we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Before I was on the PR list, I had never even heard of them. And um, now I'm like, I love it. <laughs> they had a good sales too around Black Friday. There was like um, this set of like lip things I was gonna order and then they sent it to me. So I was like, well, thanks guys. I'm trying to support over here. So what is this doing? I mean, I probably should put it underneath the other stuff, but is this like a, look at my beard. You see, I don't know if you guys can see all, I can see all the little hairs in the, in the sun. I guess I feel 
more refreshed. I don't know. Let me put a little bit of brow gel on. I feel put together. Just these two little things. I feel very put together. Oh, plus the lashes. Oh, let's put our Lana Lips stuff on. I'm gonna keep this one upstairs by my bed. So, okay, this is a Lana Lips ointment I bought yesterday. Okay, I I'm feeling like a hydrated girly right now. I love it. So wait, so should I like take this upstairs too and then in the morning I just put this stuff on and then I'm just like coming downstairs looking like a million bucks? Okay, then these are the scissors I bought to do Nala's hair. The irony of like needing scissors to undo your scissors, you know? Does it cut it differently? I mean, it cuts like, well, I don't know what, what I was expecting there. <laughs> like I was gonna have a new hairstyle after I do that one thing. I just replaced the candle in my living room because this one, oh, this one smells so good. But I finally am like out of it. Like it'll, it keeps um, blowing itself out. Is that how you should say it? I don't even know. It keeps turning off. So we're gonna go ahead and do the little switcheroo over here because I think I told you guys, this is like how I give all my candles second life now is that I have the candle warmer and this one, did the same thing. It's like pretty much the same candle, but a different scent. And this one got to the point where I can no longer burn it. But I could, it still smelled, you know what I mean? Cause there was still plenty of uh, wax down there and there's still some in there, but it really doesn't smell the way it used to. It's not as strong. So now we're gonna switch it out for the Spiced Cider by Capri Blue. I got these at Anthro. It just smells so good. And of course, with this particular burner, you can't fit the really big candles. They don't go all the way in. It does nothing that matters because it'll still burn. But or not burn, but yeah, it'll still melt. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one now because we're done with it. But I have one more of these. This is the pumpkin clove one, and it smells amazing. I'm burning the candy cane one by Valespa now. How do we feel about this face? I think considering I really don't have any like like skin makeup, I think this is good. <laughs> Whatever that thing was that I put on, I'm into it. That with the um, little under eye brightener thingy. <laughs> Did we just discover like a nice little clean face? Like, you know, I'm still gonna put something on, okay? Still gonna put something on, but it doesn't have to be what it was. I realize this book is supposed to be like Harry Met. Uh, when Harry met Sally, but like the inverted version. But you know what I'm realizing now? I don't know that I've ever actually seen that whole movie. Because I can't even think of it. Not really. Uh, you want to see my breakfast slash lunch? It's about noon. I want to finish up Nala's video. Just like the last little tinkerings. Finalize it. Get that uploaded so that I can then post my vlogmas video for today. Which is going to include a link to her video of her making the Christmas crack. I really I think that's the stupidest name for it, honestly. I didn't make it up. But um, anyway, I also lost another nail when I went out to the garage a minute ago. I don't know if you guys, if that was on camera when I, Lewis called me outside. Anyway, so then I popped the rest of them off because I was like, well, there's four missing now. Click, 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 click. They're all gone. So <laughs> I'm gonna redo the nails and I'm gonna do the little HP glamnetic ones. But first I'm gonna eat because I am, uh, starting to get a little a little famished here and I really wish I had a hard not even a hard boiled but like a soft boiled egg that has like been sitting in like the miso and the soy sauce and the and the vinegar like and it just soaks all that up. Oh, I wish I had one of those but I don't have any in the fridge uh, I don't keep them on hand but these are the chicken cilantro uh wontons I think these are the ones from Trader Joe's and this was like the end of the bag. And then that's just soy sauce. Although that Japanese barbecue sauce is so fire with these. And then I just got a little thing of uh, seaweed. So we're just gonna have this for a little, I don't know, breakfast, I guess. I think this is like four or five points. Uh, 13 wontons. This is like what was left of the wontons. I've been going through my um, freezer and it just feels great. like actually getting things out of there and using them and cooking them and yeah, it's amazing. Walk, walk, walk. I really like these. I showed them to you when I bought them. I got them at World Market. They're still, it's pretty cool. Um, but you know, it's a bunch of like of the old school. Okay, I gotta get my eye out or I won't focus. It's a bunch of the old school kind of candy. The purple ones though, these, these are disgusting. Give that to your worst enemy because those ones are nasty. But the other ones are all good. Thus far, I mean, I only eat like one or two at a time, but 
How about these little orange ones? These look so fun. You guys ever watch the candy pulling videos? Like when they're making like candy canes and they're making like stuff. Ah, and they're making like ribbons. So good. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks like so much fun. And it's like, should I quit everything and go make candy? Ah, my internet is really not letting me be great. It's already one o'clock now, which the day has gotten away from me, but it's just so many things and then everything takes time and then the day is just like, bye, gonna be over now. And like, I'm about to lose my light and I still haven't filmed. Whenever I'm working a lot in terms of like creating content a lot for brands, like that kind of work, whenever I'm doing that, then there's follow-up and the follow-up right now is the analytics. They always want the analytics, which, you know, if there's ever a creator that you really like and you see them doing some sponsored stuff, even if you're not interested, if you really like them, just, just pretend. Just, yes, girl, I love that. I see some of y'all doing it for me and I appreciate your partner. I do. But uh, yeah, you know, just give, just give them a little love. Because all that means is that maybe in the future, someone's going to be willing to hire them again and... You know, maybe then it'll be something you will be interested in. They'll be able to give you a, uh, a discount code or they'll be able to introduce you to something maybe you didn't know about and it's actually very helpful and da-da-da. I'm doing analytics for everybody and their mom because last week, praise the Lord, I had lots of work last week. I have work this week too. Um, in fact, today I have a WW video going live. But that, in my brain, that already happened. It's over. It's done with. Once it's live, it's live. I just get to chit-chat with y'all all the hard work already happened and the ooh will it or won't it be accepted kind of work like that already happened although with them they always accept it because they're so easy to work with they're like a dream partnership for me you'd be surprised at how challenging it is to work with certain brands because they're a huge pain in the ass um and there are certain brands in different spaces i mean i'm gonna work with them regardless you know what i'm saying even if they're kind of annoying um, on the back end, I'm going to work with them regardless if I like the brand, but it's always a nice change of pace when you work with a brand who's just kind of like, Hey, you do you, we came to you because we like you and we like what you do. You do you just incorporate us. Like that's my favorite kind of partnership. Then you have the other partnerships that are like, this is our vibe our aesthetic and really we're coming to you because we want the content yes we want you to post it on your channels and stuff but what we're really concerned with is being able to snag that content that you just created for us and fit it into our brand and our marketing and our page and whatever and so that happens sometimes too where then it feels almost out of place like on my page it almost doesn't make sense it's not that it doesn't make sense but it's just not my general vibe and um, then, you know, it doesn't perform for me, but it performs for them. So I'll take both, you know what I'm saying? I understand why you would need both types. So gosh, that purple one was so nasty. Mm -mm. I should have spit it out, but I didn't. All right, we just have a lot of analytics. Normally they just let you kind of free ball your analytics, but this particular company is like, no, I need this, this, and this, which this is exactly what I was gonna send them anyway. And all that means is that there are people who don't know how to send analytics. So they probably have to like send out this tutorial because they probably get the wrong stuff sometimes. That's okay. That's okay. Players mess up too. So that's fine. But I kind of feel like I discovered something here for myself. Okay. Because girl, you are on the computer. What are you doing? You know, you can't sit on the computer like that. It's bad. Okay. So you guys know I told you about this like beauty secrets, nail, whatever the hell. Supposedly, oh my gosh, they stay on for a month. Not for me. I'm glad that works for you, baby, but it don't work for me. But whatever, right? This is not the container that's all viral on TikTok. This is a different container, but it's the same brand and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, as you can imagine, first of all, this broke off immediately. Second of all, this glued itself on here day two, okay? And I was like, well, what the hell? Am I supposed to? So then I'm crazy and I start pouring it because it is literally pourable. And then I get it all over my fingers and I don't know where I thought that was going, but sometimes I just do dumb stuff and hope it turns out okay. And most of the time it doesn't, but sometimes it does. And so I will not stop doing dumb stuff, okay? Because sometimes it works out. But then I was like, well, okay, I need a better system. 
and I can't put like a brush in there or something. So I use the little freaking cuticle pusher sticks that come in like all of the nail sets, whatever. I'm sure you, ah, I'm sure you have one. But now this applies even better than when the tip worked. Cause I dunk it, I get a little teeny baby amount. Okay, that was more than I needed. You guys are making me nervous. Um, also, I'm using my left hand now. And as we know, it's essentially useless. And last year, my mom, lefties unite. You know what I'm saying? Who had that left-handed store? Ned Flanders. The Leftorium, is that what it was called? Okay, I'm gonna take a little teeny bit off that outside. But this glue does adhere skin to skin very quickly, okay? So don't get caught slipping accidentally squeezing your finger to your other finger or whatever. So uh, anyway, that's that's all I had to say. Uh, but when it comes to my press-ons, I know right away which ones are gonna pop off. And sometimes they pop off within that first, what is that? Oh, it's lotion. Sometimes they pop off within that first like hour and that's perfectly fine because then I just reapply them and then they stay. So um, no, I'm not perfect. I know you thought I was, but I'm not actually, so. I just wanted to clear that up. Okay, the only thing I ended up really kind of not liking about this set is the fact that they kind of look like nail stickers, right? Like, that's giving 12-year-old little girl. Nail stickers? Uh, you know what? Some of y'all might use nail stickers. But, like, nail stickers like this? Like, I'm just... Oh, thank you, Mommy. Me, 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 me. Like, no. Who am I? Not her. Not that girl. I'm a grown-up, okay? I have to pay taxes and stuff. I have to pay taxes. I have to pay so many taxes all the time. <laughs> That's what being a grown-up is. Bills? Forgetting to pay the bills. The bill increasing because you forgot to pay the bill. Getting a different colored envelope with the bill. Taxes. That's it. That's all it is. Taxes. Ah, my back hurts. That's number six. That's the sixth thing. Damn, we don't got no food in this house. That's number seven. These people are home. This person is... Dipping out. What shoes should we put on? I don't really want to wear real shoes. Kind of want to just wear tennis shoes, but yeah, let's slip on our Air Force ones. I wish I liked black shoes. Do any of you guys like hate black tennis shoes? They feel very manly to me. <laughs> and I like to just feel like little petite, little cutie pie honey bunch girly, just little girly. Actually, I think about that sometimes, like, you know how, like, uh, people are always getting on guys that are kind of, you know, on the shorter side or whatever? They always get on them or whatever about, oh, yeah, short king, rrr, 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 but, like, you know, they're, like, dogging around sometimes. And I don't really, like, I mean, I dated shorter guys. Uh, what, one of them was, like, 5'6", one was 5'7". Between those two people, I was with them for, like, three or four years, okay? So, it's not like I'm an anti-short person, and I would consider that relatively short for a guy. Being with someone who can make me feel small, so it doesn't even matter how big they are, but who can make me feel little, well, that's just the ultimate. Because <laughs> that's all I needed. Someone who just, just make me feel little. I don't care how tall you are. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but just make me feel like a little bit. Because I know I'm not, okay? But just make me feel that way around you. We're gonna be great. I don't normally do this, but look at the sky, bro. What? We need to find a better look. Look at how cool the sunset is. Man, I really wish you could see, like, this is incredible. Wowza. Yeah, so the kids didn't want to go to Target with me. Shocker. Nala's tired and hungry. Jaden's hungry. They're both looking to chill and I was like trying to do her hair and paint her nails and Jaden, I don't know what Jaden's doing, but, 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 all that to say that I don't have any buddies and Lewis is unfortunately sick right now. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's just me. It's just me and my besties. Honestly, I feel like if I didn't vlog, I probably would be, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I'm alone right now, even though I am, you know? I am alone right now, but I don't, I don't feel alone. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're in a situation where you're surrounded by people and you feel alone. And that I think is actually uh, infinitely worse than when you're actually alone and you might feel a little lonely. Enough of us moving into our sad girl era. We're good. Skip that past 
double it pass it to somebody else but no don't pass it to nobody but uh we're going to lg told me that potentially we're gonna have a guest and i don't know if i told you guys but i ruined our down comforter because i put it in the washer and then i put it in the dryer and then there were feathers everywhere and it reeked when i took it out of the dryer actually and so I don't know what I did but it was literally disgusting I actually just had to throw it away and uh, it made me really sad because that was a really nice down comforter thing but whatever so we're moved on from that but there's no true comforter on there there's one that I leave on there just in case we have like a low-key guest but like if we have someone coming into town to stay with us like I'm gonna treat them a little they need a blanket okay let me put it that way why did I even take you in there could continuously open in my pocket time and time again. I didn't even vlog with you guys. The grocery haul so wasn't that long. It was an hour. Okay, well I was I was chilling. Okay, this is what grown ladies do. They go to Target and chill sometimes. Okay, anyway, I did get more Olipop. I got the little mini cans. Nala takes these ones sometimes, and then I got I some like of the regular I cans. Them. I like them too. The Dr. Good one, it's good. It's like. Nala likes Dr. Pepper, and this is like better than Dr. Pepper. It didn't even hot, it just felt weird. I got the Cherry Cola, which I've never tried this one, and another Dr. Good one. And then, yeah, they might be cold chicken. now. And then I got the kids some chicken tendies, and it's Jay cold. got shrimp and pura. These are like 10 bucks, I think. 9.99, yeah. It's not bad. I mean, it's solid. I got a spring roll as well. And I can never get my wrapping like that. Like, how are they... My wrapping oh, is never that good. Conscience. And then I got one for Nala, but I don't even know if she wants to eat it now. But, cause uh, she was like, something about potato wedges and she doesn't want the wings or something. I don't even know. Her spelling was a little insane. Remember our chicken that we made earlier? Did I make it with you? I think I told you I made it. Um, well, it's right here. And it's like covered in my enchilada sauce. And I think I am gonna put this in a little taco. I'm not gonna make any tortillas. I don't have the energy for that right now because you and I are going to put together a couple of gift baskets as soon as I eat. So let me eat and put my stuff away. And then we're going to move over to the office and do that. Before I start this, if you are my mother or someone who gave birth to me, uh, leave. This is the end of the video for you. The rest of this is not for you. You are not allowed to be here. Please exit the premises. Thank you. You were warned. Don't ruin Christmas. Santa will be pissed. All right, so I bought this at Target. It's actually a metal tin. It's actually so nice. Look, it's so nice, but it's full of um, hazelnut and praline cookie caramel thing, Belgian chocolate, I don't know. When I went to London, I went to whatever this place was called, uh, M&S Foods, m and S. I don't know what that stands for. I don't know, but they have like a whole collection, right? You know, when you walk in, they have like this whole thing. And anyway, I just bought a bunch of stuff from there because I thought it looked so nice. So I bought this tin of shortbread cookies, which looked really nice. I bought this um, pack of coffee grounds because my mom has an espresso machine, but they also do like just regular coffee every day. I got my mom some gift cards to Joanne. I got Solomon gift card to Home Depot. I got these, which I thought you had to keep these in the freezer and I don't like them because I don't like how hard they are, but you don't even have to keep them in the freezer. I don't know why I had them in the freezer. But then I saw this and how freaking fun is this? So it, again, it has cookies in it, but this is like a really nice little tin. They had another one that lights up, but this one has magical gingerbread musical house, right? It has little gingerbread cookies. And check this out, bro. It's a freaking music box. What? You were supposed to stop right there. That was the end. How freaking cute is that? Then I bought some little filler stuff. Um, and then I ended up getting these baskets. They have like $10 baskets that are sitting out there uh, near, I don't know. They're like away from the other baskets. They're clearly meant to be gift baskets. But these ones I thought were a little bit better because they could still use them for something else, you know, because they're actually nice like baskets. And I made a match. Uh, the bigger one is for Solomon and the smaller one's for my mom because my mom has two big, gigantor freaking gifts that I still need to wrap. But we're going to fill these for them. Okay, this is some of the other stuff I got. 
I was collecting these items from different places. Remember those little liquor chocolates? I think those will go good in Falamans. I got ponche, which is for my moms, because we went to Vienna together and we had a lot of punch or ponche. And um, it was a really good time. And it was really fun and I just, she talks about it sometimes. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, let me buy this. Um, Cause I've never seen it before, like out in the store. Got some shortbread cookies, Salomon Eats, um, cookies and sweets every single morning. So he has his own personal snack drawer and I was like, oh, it'd be nice to fill the snack drawer, you know? And then these I got at Whole Foods. They're just spicy nuts. I got the Jack Daniels nuts, which are incredible. This is a little pack. But they have bigger packs that come in tins that also make really good little gifts or stocking stuffers or whatever. And then I bought a pack of mustard. This is a food basket because along with all of this, I bought him these oyster shucking knives. I also bought him a membership to the oyster cult. So my parents collectively are gonna be receiving monthly shipments of different oysters for months. So um, I just wanted to actually have something tangible to give them today. Their first shipment of oysters is coming uh, a couple days after Christmas. And then salami and cheese, vegetable crackers, six almond fingers, chicken skin crisp, this is World Market. Like that's weird, but I feel like he might be into it. Salami whips fish jerky i bought him like different stuff obviously korean barbecue mushroom jerky mushroom jerky like what some more chicken skins and then again i wanted to go with the sweets i love these they are so freaking tasty that one i was tempted to keep it at my house but not going to that's for now <laughs> and then cocktail sauce for the oysters i was having a hell of a time trying to find like artisanal um cocktail sauce and finally yesterday at Whole Foods, I did end up finding one that was like okay looking, but I don't know, for the price, I was like, it's fine. I'm just gonna use this one. And then, uh, I don't even know how this got in there. A hazelnut bar, was this for one of the kids? And then what I think he's gonna enjoy the most, in fact, I wish I could have gotten him something even nicer in this regard, but it would have required a little bit more sourcing on my part and I kind of dropped the ball on that, but I got him Oysters, but like they're, or not oysters, um, sardines, but they're all different. One has onions, one has peppers and eggplant, one has pickled lemons. I thought these would be really fun for him because he likes sardines. And then I also got him two things of caviar. So saf saffron whitefish caviar, and then plaza trout caviar. And I saw caviar yesterday at Whole Foods as well, but it required refrigeration and this one doesn't. These are not expensive caviars. So like these are not the caviars you think of when you think of caviar. But he has had caviar and I remember him talking about it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to set this up inside these baskets. I think I'm gonna line the bottom with some tissue paper and with my mom's, I'm still considering putting one other thing in here, but I'm not 100% yet. I haven't, I don't know. I have a tendency to overdo it, but then, you know, I feel like I can't overdo it for my parents because my parents are like, great. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you are around, then you wholeheartedly know what I mean. But um, that's why I try to treat them well throughout the year, you know what I mean? So we don't have to like do big for each other at one time a year. Um, okay, so let me put these together. Okay, this is like a, like, I don't know, like six pieces of tissue paper and then that stuff on top and like, that's not bad, right? Now we can stuff it. Girl, I bought this a week ago. 10 days? They're already expired. I'm not gonna give him expired food. The other one doesn't expire for months. Now we gotta try it. I can't gift expired food. Chicken skins? Oh, this kind of makes me wanna throw up. Just the thought of it. I'll wait past it, don't worry. This is very interesting. Salt and vinegar, chicken skins. I'm not mad at that. I'll leave him with these ones. These ones don't expire for a few months. I cannot believe that though. How dare they? They're, this little bag was like seven fifty, dollars And it's expired? She was shaking them. She was guessing them. Which ones was she shaking? She was shaking all of them, dude. But we put them all out. <laughs> no, I didn't tell her to stop. Whatever. She said half the fun is guessing the gifts. I want to shake one. Shake one. I don't care. 
So I finished. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's from Nella. I finished the little gift baskets. I think they came out fine. Huh? You like them? Cool. Jaden likes them. So. Yeah, it's like your Easter basket. Yeah, obviously. Uh huh. I agree. So. The, as you can see, I put the gift card in here or whatever. I think this one is missing like a bottle. Like I feel like if there was a bottle sticking out of that side for a little height, that would go great. So I might grab him a bottle of liquor. And then over here, this one's for my mom. And I obviously I put her doing gift cards right there. And then hers has less in it, but again, that's because she has a whole different gift. And I'm gonna um, put the Oyster of the Month Club information in like a little thing and put it in here with the little shucking tools that we got. And good to know, my parents actually shucked some oysters the other day and uh, they used a hammer and a screwdriver. So, um, you hit the other toe? What was that? So yeah, that's it. I think I might wrap some other gifts and stuff, but I think for you and I, that's probably it for tonight. So yeah, goodbye, Jay said goodbye. Oh, one of you said that you don't remember why I say bye at the end. My buys are so lightweight now. I've been trying to, bye! That's how she used to do it. Uh, I'm gonna insert the video so that you can understand why I like to end my video by saying, bye! 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 Bye!